Hey guys, Flaming Shark back with another video, and yeah, I I was having I had a shit ton of problems with the World of Remnant uh, reaction, so in the end it just got scrapped. But um, there is a reaction that obviously also came out today, which was a uh, a a video uh, reaction to the death battle between uh, Deadpool and Pinkie Pie. But, uh, yeah, I figured since I, the reaction's just, it, it's, it's way too silly in terms of all the things to hop through for something like this. Like, if it was an episode of Ruby, absolutely 100% would have, you know, I'll get that out no matter what. As far as that went, though, as far as just a, a, a simple episode, uh, World of Remnant, I uh, didn't have much, I, like, it's not worth the hassle to uh, go through those potatoes. But I will talk about it, because why not, you know? I still want to talk about it. It's actually really, like, possibly my favorite one, because it was entirely new information. Almost all of it. Like, like maybe, like, the, the fact that Jacques, there's poor working condition, you know, the way Jacques has run the company, I guess, is not new information, technically, but pretty much everything else is. So this was, of course, about the Schnee Dust Company, and we got the origin of the Schnee Dust Company, and uh, Nicholas Schnee, and Nicholas Schnee's story, which was really interesting, um, and, uh, Grant, I, I swear Grandfather was, me has been mentioned by Weiss in the past, I had no idea Grandfather started the Schnee Dust Company. I don't know why I felt it was another generation further. I didn't think Schnee was third generation, or Weiss was quote unquote third generation of the business. Um, I just figured that, I don't know, it just didn't, I, I figured the Schnee Dust Company was a little older than that, but I guess if I look at the timeline, that seems to make a lot of sense. And yeah, so we learned the story of Nicholas Schnee and how he rose up from being, you know, basically a dust miner into, into, uh, having one of the most successful uh, companies in the world. Uh, then we learn the story of Jacques Juliet and how he, um, which could be a reference, no, no, no. Uh, but we learn the story of Jacques Juliet, how he married into the family. Obviously that's the unnamed and unseen mother of the uh, Schneeders company, which I, you know, uh, Weiss's mother, Whitley's mother, Winter's mother, still haven't seen her yet, kind of implied that she's an alcoholic. I'm curious to see her um, at some point in the near future. But we got that information, and then they talked about how Jacques took the Schnee, Schnee Dust Company into another direction after taking it over from Nicholas, and basically, you know, the, you know, uh, bad working conditions, uh, low wage labor, uh, et cetera, et cetera, all the quote-unquote bad things he did. Crow made some funny little drawing, you know, like the funny little drawing next to Jacques was hysterical. Just little things like that were all quite amusing. I do think that, um, I do think that what they did in regards to, uh, portraying Jacques as a villain very much was quite interesting, despite the fact that, of course, it is Crow in a world of Remnant, and the fact that I think we can all agree that he's an asshole. Um, it is still interesting to see that specifically in the context of a world of Remnant, even if it's Crow, who, unlike Ozpin or Salem, has a much stronger, quote-unquote, opinion, whereas Ozpin and Salem were more or less stating facts. I mean, yes, they were kind of adding their own little touch to it, yeah, ominous in Salem's case, and to be honest, kind of ominous in Ozpin, in most of Ozpin's cases, but also silly in the Four Maidens one. But uh, it was really interesting to see what uh, what Crow thought of the Shinidas company. I mean, we knew it wouldn't be that positive. Uh, and then the line at the end, where he talked about, as for the next, uh, the next, uh, like, like, you know, the, the Shni name has meant different things. Like, it meant all these great things during Nicholas's run with the company, and now it means a lot of things that aren't that great in Jacques' run with the company, and then it showed a shot of Weiss and, you know, her beautiful hair, uh, cause, you know, she's beautiful, and her hair is particularly beautiful, but, um, <laughs> they showed a, a shot of Weiss and they said, like, in the future, who knows what that name will mean, kind of implying who knows 
where like Weiss's future in general and the future of the Schneeduss company, how it relates to Weiss. I mean, because we all know that the likely outcome is that Weiss will at some point in this series take the realm of the, I think, take the reins of the Schneeduss company. I, I mean, it's not going to be Whitley, and I don't see it being Winter, so it only makes sense for it to be Weiss. Um, and I'm curious about the fact that we're getting this World of Remnant after Chapter 6. I'm curious if Chapter 7 is going to mimic Chapter 6. Half the story, half of the episode be the Tyrion versus Crow fight, and half of the episode continuing on the Weiss potatoes. And I think that would be a good idea. Now, I know that kind of separates us from Blake and Yang a little bit to do two episodes in a row featuring Team Ranger and Weiss, but I do think that that is something that is affordable because I think Blake and Yang are in the most, um, are in the most stable, not stable situations, they're in the most stagnant situations because until they're ready to full-blown have Adam come after Blake, there's nothing there. Um... And as far as Yang goes, we don't exactly know who Yang's going to go after, likely Ruby. But again, similarly, yeah, they could show a little bit of her training. That would be cool. But I feel like in both regards, they've, they've already done most of what we can really focus on for them. And the two plot lines that do need the most progression that can be done, that can be done without being too close to the end of the season are Weiss and Ranger. Because obviously the Tyrion Crow fight's going to happen in all likelihood next chapter, and also Weiss's potatoes. After what happened in chapter six, you know there's gonna be an outla a backlash from Jacques, how that's going to play out, and why are they giving us all this information on the Schnees right now is curious, and if we follow the pattern of this whole season, the next episode is focused on the World of Remnants focus every time. Like, we got the Faunus one right before we got Chapter 5, which was, of course, Menagerie. We got, you know, and so on and so forth. And there is a history of that within the show all around, but it's even more prevalent in this season than it's ever been before. So I really do think that next episode, similarly to Chapter 6, will mimic being half of it being about Weiss and half of it being obviously the Tyrion Crow fight. But obviously, this world of Remnant is implying that the Weiss potatoes will will definitely be relevant next episode or very soon given the fact that we're getting this world of remnant very good world of remnant and uh yeah you know i managed to uh spend about eight minutes talking about it so i think that's pretty cool i might do this like i don't know if like this could this this i mean this might just be a one-off thing i might go back to reacting to these world of remnants but specifically for the world of remnants I kind of, to be honest, it's almost not worth the hassle for me to react to these World of Remnants. Um, if you, I mean, I still think I'll post these reviews on the on these Saturdays, but uh, if I do start doing these reviews, I mean, hell, I could post them, I don't know, I mean, I could post them on like the, sun, the day after they come out or whatever, you know, if you guys want, um, I don't know. Like, tell me what you guys think. I know, like I said, very specific. I do want to clarify, yes, I'm, I'm de absolutely reacting to all the Ruby episodes. It's nothing like that. I'm just, for the World of Remnants, I've kind of gotten sick of, uh, you know, going through the motions. Because, I mean, it's, it's a, it's a, you know, it could, straight up, it can be, it can be a bitch to uh, record off Bruce Petit's site and all that shit. So, uh, yeah, I'm kind of just, uh... I'm kind of thinking that for the world of remnants, I'm just going to not even bother and just do review potatoes for them. So if uh, I know some of you won't like it, of course, but again, I specifically am doing this because they're the world of remnants. And I do want to always talk about them. I always think there's a decent amount to talk about. This one in particular had a lot to talk about, but uh, it's just something a little different. And uh, I think it's, you know, I think... Hey, I mean, these are a lot of people skip these anyways, or, you know, watch them, but don't watch any reactions to them anyways. So if you really want my thoughts on it, I think specifically for these, where I'm not going to have any crazy reactions, really, uh, the review format kind of works a little better for me and really for you. Because this in particular, you're just wondering what my thoughts are on the various information that was given to us. Also, of course, I will have the link down below in the description for those for the uh, the World of Remnant if you guys want it. 
So anyways, that's pretty much it. So yeah, uh, Flame and Shark signing out. Hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastical day, and I will see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching, and have a Merry Christmas Eve, and if you don't watch my update video, have a Merry Christmas. Peace.